The story of man versus machine continues. When we first heard of the Google DeepMind project, they mentioned that it might very well, at some point in the future, play on the ladder as well. And apparently that moment has just arrived. Now real quick, for those of you unfamiliar, Google DeepMind is a team that's working to create a completely self-thought artificial intelligence that's capable of mastering StarCraft II. Now the last time we heard of it was actually in January. It's been a little while. I made a video back then as well of AlphaStar going up against a couple of pro gamers. I'll go ahead and post a link to that video down below in the description of this one if you're interested. We've heard a couple of snippets here and there. I've seen a couple of tweets of Team Liquid's TLO as well as Team Liquid's MANA of them going over to the London office of Google. Uh, but other than that, it's been pretty quiet up until just a couple of hours ago. So this is a blog post that I'll actually also link down below in case you want to read along. Uh, but this is a blog post that was posted on the StarCraft II website just a couple of hours ago. And it's titled DeepMind Research on a Ladder. Experimental versions of DeepMind's StarCraft II agent, AlphaStar, will soon play a small number of games on the competitive ladder in Europe as part of ongoing research into artificial intelligence. If you would like a chance to help DeepMind with its research by matching against AlphaStar, you can opt in by clicking the opt-in button on the in-game pop-up window. You can alter your opt-in selection at any time by using the DeepMind opt-in button on the one versus one versus menu. So indeed, right now when you log into StarCraft and you go to the versus menu right here at the top, it immediately pops up this screen right over here. So we're excited to announce that experimental versions of DeepMind StarCraft II agent AlphaStar will soon play a small number of games on a competitive ladder as part of ongoing scientific research into artificial intelligence. So you can choose right here if you want to opt in and have a chance to play against the Google DeepMind AI. I'm going to certainly opt in. And actually, there's also a little, a little button right here that uh, you can toggle probably on and off. Yeah, indeed if you uh, decide otherwise in the future. So for scientific purposes, DeepMind will be benchmarking AlphaStar's performance by playing anonymously during a series of blind trial matches. This means the StarCraft community will not know which matches AlphaStar is playing to help ensure that all games are played under the same conditions. AlphaStar plays with built-in restrictions that the DeepMind team has divined in consultation with pro players. A win or a loss against AlphaStar will affect your MMR as normal. So I'm assuming then, right, that AlphaStar... I don't think they're going to be playing under the AlphaStar nickname. I'm assuming AlphaStar is going to be playing under a barcode tag? I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, so there were some concerns when they first announced... Uh, the Google DeepMind project. Like, for example, what if a machine has infinite amounts of actions per minute? I mean, one of the reasons why StarCraft 2 is such a difficult game is because you always have to decide and prioritize where you want to spend your time and where you want to spend your actions, right? If a machine is capable of, hypothetically speaking, doing a million actions a minute, uh, wouldn't that mean it's just going to play the game perfectly and therefore win? Or should there be any limitations? So anyways, let's have a look right here at the FAQ. Why is AlphaStar available to play on Battle.net? Experimental versions of DeepMind's StarCraft II system, AlphaStar, will soon play a small number of games on Battle.net for a limited time as part of ongoing scientific research into artificial intelligence. We're excited to offer our community a chance to contribute to this process by playing against AlphaStar in small number, uh, or rather in a small number of blind trial games that will allow DeepMind to benchmark its agents. So the one thing right here that jumps out at me is the small number of games, right? What exactly does Google DeepMind view as a small number of games? Because I remember when uh, we first saw the AI play back in January, I believe they made it play the equivalent of like 200 years of the same map, the same matchup against itself in literally thousands of games that were being played simultaneously. Um, I'm not entirely sure what they view as a small number of games. I mean, compared to playing a couple hundred years in the, in the time period of a couple of days, a small number may still very well be, I don't know, a thousand matches a day, right? And that would be quite significant, I suppose. Anyways, so what version of StarCraft 2 is AlphaStar playing? AlphaStar will play on the latest version of StarCraft 2, and this one is actually really cool. So what races can AlphaStar play as? AlphaStar can play S and versus Terran, Zerg, or Protoss. So this is quite a big deal. Once again, back when we first heard of it a couple months ago, um, it was only capable of playing one map, 
It was only capable of playing the Protoss versus Protoss matchup, and obviously it did not know how to play Terran and Zerg whatsoever just yet. So that's quite a significant change right there, right? I mean, just the fact that it can now play on all of the different maps while also playing all three races, that certainly makes it more interesting. I wonder if that means it's also gonna be playing random. So maybe if you see like a barcode opponent and it's playing random, there could be there could be a chance you're playing against it. I guess that's always gonna be the question, right? Like, how do you know if you're playing against Alpha Star? Maybe you can use it as like another excuse as to why you lost, you know? I mean, back when uh, when when this wasn't around yet, I used to blame balance, I used to blame, I don't know, lag, I used to blame, uh, I don't know, what hacks, uh, just game design. Like, now we also get to blame the potential that we played against the supercomputer. Okay, I'm just kidding, obviously. Anyways, uh, so why is Alpha Star playing anonymously? This is the one thing that, I, that I'm interested in. DeepMind is currently interested in assessing Alpha Star's performance in matches where players use their usual mix of strategies. Having Alpha Star play anonymously helps ensure that it is a controlled test, so that the experimental versions of the agent experience gameplay as close to a normal 1v1 ladder match as possible. It also helps ensure all games are played under the same conditions from match to match. DeepMind will release the research results in peer-reviewed scientific paper, along with replays of Alpha Star's matches. Okay, so I guess that means that you probably won't be able to tell if you're playing a computer until the actual replays get revealed uh, probably a few months from now, right? Maybe even longer. Maybe it's going to be like another half year until we hear another update. <laughs> ay, 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 that is unfortunate, right? I guess we won't be able to know until way after the fact. How will I be able to play against Alpha Star? Well, I think you get to opt in. How many variants of Alpha Star will play? DeepMind will be benchmarking the performance of a number of experimental versions of Alpha Star to enable DeepMind to gather a broad set of results during the testing period. Yeah, so they're mentioning a broad set of results while also mentioning a small number of games. Those two don't really go very well together, right? So once again, I'm wondering how many games will actually be played by Alpha Star. How likely am I to be matched against Alpha Star? So pairing on the ladder will be decided according to normal matchmaking rules, which depends on how many players are online while Alpha Star is playing. Alpha Star will play a small number of games for scientific test purposes, though we will not be revealing exactly when or how often this will happen to ensure that games remain anonymous. So if I'm just speculating here, I would imagine it probably, like considering it right here, it mentions that it depends on how many players are online. It probably has a system in play where it will play every, say, 100 or so game, maybe every 1,000 or so letter game that's being queued up. And then I'm also assuming it's got different kinds of different MMR ratings, right? So they can probably change and scale back the skill of the AI while also making it fair against a different level of opponents. I'll be very surprised if it's only going to be playing at the top level, like we saw it do against TLO and then also against Mana a couple months ago. Uh, the thing is, the top-level pro gamers all know each other very well, and it's going to be very clear if you're playing against Alpha Star, I think, at the tippity top of the skill level, although it's probably still going to, at the very least, play a couple of matches there. All right. Now, by the way, if they wanted to be able to play a broad spectrum of games, right, and if the end result is to try and make it, you know, play games and beat the top-of-the-line pro gamers, it probably does want to play more against the top-level players more so than any others. Right, I'm just thinking along here. Obviously, this is all speculation. But anyways, um, so how does Alpha Star perceive the game? Like human players, Alpha Star perceives the game using a camera-like view. This means that Alpha Star does not receive information about the opponents unless it is within the camera's view of view, and it can only move units to locations within its view. All limits on Alpha Star's performance were designed in consultations with pro gamers. Okay, so that's actually really critical here. So I'm assuming here as well that then that means it's no longer going to be able to view the whole map like it did once upon a time. Because um, that, that seemed to make it so very powerful, right? I mean, it was capable of basically seeing the whole map. It, it, it felt like it's, it saw like a viewed out version of the game. And maybe that's still the case right now, but at the very least it's going to have some limitations. I don't think we're going to learn about those limitations. But considering it's done in consultation with pro players, I'm assuming it's gonna at the very least be reasonable and human-esque.
right? Once again, if it would be capable of doing a million actions per minute, um, Stalkers would be the most overpowered unit in the game. Because <laughs> if you can blink every single Stalker perfectly, um, which obviously is, is not designed that way, right? It's designed with humans in mind where we're capable of microing them decently well, but we're going to make some mistakes here and there. Um, yeah, I'm assuming at the very least the performance then is going to be at the very least human-like. How does Alpha Star interact with the game? Alpha Star has built-in restrictions which cap its effective actions per minute and per second. These caps, including the agent's peak APM, are more restrictive than the DeepMind demonstration matches back in January and have been applied in consultation with pro players. Okay, that's excellent. Will Alpha Star play team matches or only 1v1? It will only be playing 1v1 during these test matches. What regions will Alpha Star play in? Currently, Alpha Star agents will only play in Europe, okay? Will playing against Alpha Star affect my MMR? A win or a loss against Alpha Star will affect your MMR like any other game played on the ladder. Okay, once again, that's probably primarily done just to like hide, you know, that you're playing against Alpha Star. Will Alpha Star improve as it's playing on the ladder? Will my games be used to help improve its strategy? Alpha Star will not be learning from the games it plays on the ladder as DeepMind is not using these matches as part of Alpha Star's training. To date, AlphaStar has been trained from human replays and self-play, not from matches against human players. That is curious right there, right? So if it's not learning from the games it plays on the ladder, then what exactly is the purpose of it? Is it primarily just to make it... Probably to make an analysis then to see how it currently plays against human opponents to be able to compare what it's going to look like in the future, right? That's probably the main purpose then. Okay, so it's currently not going to be improving from that. Fair enough. Uh, so what's happening next with Alpha Star? Once Alpha Star has played enough test matches, the team at DeepMind will use the results to inform their ongoing research into artificial intelligence. They will release the research results in peer-reviewed scientific paper along with replays of Alpha Star's matches and are working with us to explore what comes next for Alpha Star. If DeepMind has any other updates on Alpha Star, the community will be first to know. All right, so I pressed the wrong button and I opted in and out by accident. Yes, you can change it as I've just shown you already. How will my replays against Alpha Star be used? DeepMind will use your replays and game data they include as part of their scientific research, assessing and describing the performance of the Alpha Star system. In particular, replays will help illustrate specific points about Alpha Star's gameplay. For more information, you can check out the privacy policy and you can also reach out to replay data queries at deepmind.com if you. Uh, you know, have questions and whatnot about this whole situation. Very cool though, right? I mean, I was joking about it earlier, but I do think that some people will probably start blaming their losses on the fact that they might very well be facing off against the supercomputer. Uh, it's been a little while since we last heard an update about it. I saw some rumors circling the internet that apparently like, Google has given up on the DeepMind project and the like StarCraft is too difficult to master and everything along those lines. Um, I, I, yeah, I figured that that was not the case considering it already was doing a very good job just a couple of months ago. Uh, back then, my main concerns were the unlimited actions per minute or at the very least the seemingly unlimited actions per minute. I think what happened back then is that it may have had like a limited actions that it could do in one minute, but an unlimited amount of actions it could do in a second while it was not exceeding the total actions it could do per minute, if that makes any sense. So there were moments um, back when it was especially microing those stalkers, there were moments where it just seemed absolutely unreasonable. Basically, it was microing stalkers so incredibly well that it was, it, it looked absolutely broken, right? It had like thousands of APM for very specific moments. Now, when it comes to beating the AI, right? Considering it's most familiar with existing games from replays and from playing against itself, I would probably hypothesize that the best way of beating it is probably by playing the craziest strategies. I mean, how does, say, the AI result? Or how does it respond, rather? If you decide to build a nexus inside of its main base and then recall all units to war Like, it's never seen that before, right? There are some crazy strategies that it probably will not know how to respond to it. At the very least, that's what I'm assuming. It's probably going to be very solid, especially in just straight up one versus one matches. So if you're going to try and do that, good luck. Uh, but since we won't know whether or not we're playing against an AI, I guess all you get to do is just speculate. 
But I'm curious though, if you have a crazy game of StarCraft 2, right? Or maybe you have a match um, that seems different. Maybe you have something that played out a little bit differently and you're assuming it might very well be a game against an AI. Feel free to submit it to replays at loco.tv. Um, I'm not entirely sure what I could use to determine if it is an AI, but we can obviously look at where it's looking in the replay file. I mean, for example, humans have a very set pattern at where they look. I can imagine an AI is just going to be, you know, extremely on point with some things and then relatively robotic in other directions. It's going to be difficult to determine if that's the case. But if you have one, feel free to submit it. I'll go ahead and post the email address down below in the description of this video as well. I hope you enjoyed watching this one. If you are interested in hearing more updates on this project in the future, um, I will try and cover it whenever there's something big happening. So feel free to hit that subscribe button. But for now, I want to thank you very much so for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile alright. And I will see you once again tomorrow for another video.